I have five kids and I grew up on a farm, so we still pull trailers and stuff. So I like to have a truck and we were able to have one built, so that was good. I grew up on a dairy farm north of here, about 45 miles. I'm an engineer, well, engineer manufacturing, I'm in manufacturing. And all, most of the work, you know, most of the jobs are down in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. Yeah. So, you know, you have to commute 45, 50 miles. So I thought, well, hey, I'm commuting all this time. And so I thought, well, I usually choose not to go to the gym, right? So for me, it's like more time with my family or... So I kind of had this idea, well, what if I could get a workout while I was commuting? And so I never invented it, but I kept thinking about it and I kept searching for some, to see if anybody had invented it because I just wanted to own one. And I couldn't believe it when I saw that Rich had it and he was literally five miles away from the job I had at the time. Because this could have been invented anywhere in the world, you know, so I figured that was a pretty good sign. I should reach out to him and see if he needed more people on his team. I already commute 45 miles a day, and if I can combine my commute time and my workout time, then, you know, you're basically getting time, right? Just like anything that makes things convenient, so. And then Rich came at it from, he's a bike commuter. I think he's always commuted like 10 to 15 miles to work. You live in Minnesota and you got to deal with all kinds of weather and it's really hard to bike commute in the winter. And also when you are biking you build up a sweat and you're going to work. Whereas that's the one thing about, that's also a feature of this is that you can drive it like an electric car to work and then you can pedal it on the way home. You don't have to pedal it to drive it. It's basically an electric car slash, it's kind of classified as a motorcycle, I think, right now. So I think for safety, I'm just gonna unload it by hand because it's really hard to see. It's a superhero car, right? <laughs> yeah, so. I kind of like that. It, it kind of makes you feel like Tony or by like Iron Man because you can, as you pedal, it'll run the accelerator. All right, so yeah, this is the Rat Racer. It's yeah. an electric car or electric motorcycle. It's got our prototype has a hub motor, so there's a motor in there. So it's electric drive. There's a battery pack on the bottom. It's lithium ion cells, and there's actually two parallel batteries, 120 volt batteries. So it's got a motor controller in the back to drive the motor. And right now it actually has the charging system so that you can just directly plug it into a 110 outlet so you really can just pull up to anywhere right now and plug it in yeah right now here's the pedaling system because you want a variable resistance the whole point right you're trying to get a workout so we use a davinci hub which is a continuously variable transmission which is actually you can put that on your bicycle that's meant for spokes right there but we modified it so it runs with belts and the belts go down and then drive two flywheel generators those flywheel generators spin right there and when they get up enough speed then they their electricity that goes back into the battery so this gives you variable resistance and there there's your resistance kind of like you might see on a workout bike at the gym it would basically have all the features that you have at a, a bike at the gym but it does feel like a recumbent bike yeah it's designed that was the design a recumbent bike that's optimal for power generation you know fatigue there's lots of reasons why you go to recumbent because you you're, it's good for fatigue. You have a lot more endurance than a recumbent. You don't waste as much energy. And right now it's got, you know, an adjustable steering wheel here so you can get an outer steering bar. And then these other, this switch here is the, this is forward and reverse, so I just added that. And eventually that'll be wired in up here. There's a little click. So when you pull on your brake, it would start regen braking first. Just like your Prius, you know, or any something. There we go. You'll have the regen braking up here, and that'll also be your brake lights. And then um, then you pull harder, and then it's mechanical braking. It's the disc brake on the rear, which is a requirement. You have to have a mechanical brake for safety. So 
you can see the pedaling generating electricity and it can drive the motor control or you can just twist the throttle if you don't want to pedal and it'll have variable resistance so you can get a workout If you commute a long distance, this will allow you to go highway speeds. Bike commuting is not an option for people that are too far away from work, so this kind of gives you that option then if you always want to be a bike commuter. This prototype I think will do like 70, but it's designed to be able to go up to 80 or 90. How much can pedaling really add to this? Is that just to give you a workout or can you really yeah. actually increase Yeah, the, the primary means of the pedaling is to get your workout. It's variable resistance, but we're recapturing the energy. We don't want to waste the energy. So it, yeah, it'll generate electricity. I think it'll, it'll probably add about 5% to your normal driving range. It's more about the fitness part. That's, that's, the, that's actually what was patentable. So like the IP that we have on this that we were able to patent is that you're doing a variable resistance workout in a vehicle. So it's like kind of a bonus that you're generating electricity. So the reason we're demoing this on a non-busy street kind of is because it obviously is a prototype and it's not street legal yet. So, and it doesn't have all the safety features and everything yet that a highway vehicle would have, so. Will it be like a motorcycle? Will it be like no, we intend to have it be closer to a car. I mean, I think right now it's regulated by motorcycle, but we intend to have protective cage, airbags, you know, all the safety features that we can put in there. And that also might be required in order to have it licensed that way. And the shape of it was inspired by, I read I, canoe. The reason it's canoe was, uh, this was built at the Winona Canoe Company. So I think it's, you know, carbon fiber. So a lot of this prototype was put together down there. It's an alpha prototype, so one of the things we learned right away is it's too small. The inventor Rich is a pretty small guy. I'm, I'm more the other end of the spectrum, so. So you'll see it's pretty tight fit, and you can also see uh, your head's up pretty high into the ceiling. So we actually want the next version to be about 10 or 20% larger. It also, we'd actually like it to be two passenger. So we have some cargo space and you could carry somebody with you, carpool or whatever. And I think, that, I believe there's going to be four modes. One is you can, a mode where you don't even pedal, you can just drive it. Then there's a mode where you engage the pedals. You know, if you pedal faster, the car goes faster. Then there's a mode where you're running through an exercise program and it's completely irrelevant. It doesn't care if you're on flat terrain, hills, if you're parked at a stoplight, it doesn't matter. You know, you're going to need to keep pedaling and work out. Our fourth mode, I believe, was something where it could feel the terrain. It could feel just like on a bicycle or something, but you're traveling at highway speeds. kind of fun thing it's like a power sport a new power sport but the main thing is the time it's kind of like a time machine you're getting back that time and for some people you make a choice to sacrifice time at the gym for time with your family and some people make the choice they sacrifice time with something else you know you're always making a trade-off so you know obviously the value proposition we bring the reason we think people would want to spend money on it is because now you gain back that time you can combine the two it's kind of similar to like how much cell phones have allowed us to capture that time if you have Bluetooth, you can have conversations with your family and while you're commuting. So just a similar thing where you can combine two things into one and kind of capture that time back. But and then also get get fit, you know, get healthy. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs>